Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptic here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Um, today, I want to go over the roadmap to going into help desk IT support. This is literally what I did to help someone get a job. They started they started with me in November, and then we 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 ended up doing everything that I'm gonna mention right now, and then they ended up getting a job in February. And I, I'm I'm gonna go over A to Z. What would I would do? If I'm brand new to help desk IT support, this is got this guy graduated college with a computer science degree, and um, he didn't get a job until he got his A plus certification. And this guy lives uh, in New York like me, so this is literally what he did. And I have like I say I have a few examples like this with other people from other states, not just New York. So this could this works if you live in the United States. If you live in the UK, it's probably you need an apprenticeship. And you live in Canada, you need experience. It's a little different depending where you live. But in the United States, if you do this, you should be able to land a job. All right, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go over this real quick. And obviously, rate, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it, okay? So the roadmap to help us, like literally the first 30 to 90 days, I need you to learn Windows, Mac, operating system, hardware, software, learn about uh, Mac, learn about Windows, learn about Linux, learn about how things get an IP address, learn about um, software, hardware, right? All those things you learn, they are covered in the A+. So if you get the A+, you literally will be well-rounded after that. You understand about like the basics of IT. Or when you set up a lab, it makes more sense. So I went online and checked on Indeed, just Indeed. Obviously, there's other websites you go to. Literally, there's over 2,000 jobs asking for the A+. So definitely, it's very important to have a certification. Obviously, if you have a degree, it's good too. The more you have on your resume, the better. So I always recommend if you have money, invest yourself on the A+. I definitely will recommend getting it if you're trying to get your first job in help desk IT support. All right? So now... No, stop sharing. I'll share again. So so now that you, you have your A+, like, are you ready to apply? To, are you ready to apply for a job? No, you're not. So this is what you start. This is the next step. So what you do is between the, the first... 30 to 90 days, and I'm just, I'm being realistic because no one, like, unless you're a monster in, in studying and learning, you get the A-plus, like, in one month. That's literally like, freaking hard because it's two exams, right? So, so I'm giving you, like, a range from 30 to 90 days. You get your A-plus certification. Now it's time to, like, build a home lab and learn the skills, right? So it goes to this slide right here that I, I created. So the next slide... Okay, it's like, what's, what's the next question mark? So literally, learn the skills for help desk, right? Obviously, there's Active Directory, there's Office 365, there's SSEM, there's Intune, there's Intro ID, there's a ticketing system, there's MDM, Mobile Device Manager, and there's remote tools that you use to remote into people's machines to help them with, with their problems, any desk, Zoho, uh, Team Team Viewer, I don't know, whatever, whatever people are using these days. Obviously, you set up a home lab, right? Set up a lab to learn these skills. Like, I, I have a bunch of videos on this, so I'm not going to, you know, go over this stuff. But, you know, you should know that you should have a machine that has more than 16 gigs of RAM. Ideally, 24 gigs of RAM, 250 hard drive space, 3 to 4 cores, 18 GPU. Should be Windows Windows Pro, Windows Enterprise. You should make sure that it actually it actually uh, supports virtualization. So, Hyper-V virtualization needs to be supported on your BIOS, or you won't be able to create VMs or do anything. And again, like before, just like getting the A+, plus, this is going to take a couple of months. It's not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in two days. It's not going to happen in a week. To learn all the stuff that, that you need for help desk, same thing. Learn, it's going to literally going to take one to three months. And I'm just being realistic, one to three months. And then once you get your experience, you add that on your resume and also create a website using GitHub or Medium. And then you could actually create, add the link to your uh, resume. And then when the manager looks at your, your resume, they could click on your LinkedIn profile. Or, and then the LinkedIn profile, you could literally link the GitHub as a website on your LinkedIn profile as well, or your Medium or Medium website as well, if you want. Um, or you could you could also put it on your resume. You click on it and you see what you're working on. And, and you, don't have to, you don't have to go crazy with it. Like you literally, you could you could talk about, oh, I created these tickets, these are the tickets that I closed, or I set up a patch management tool, and this is what I, these are the tools that I use. You don't have to go bonkers with it, but like whatever you learn, write it down, note it down, Create a website, put that on the website, and, and you just show your, you show like what you've been learning from A to Z, 
to hiring managers to impress them when you actually giving them your website or your URL, if that makes sense. So it's the same thing now. Now that you have your A plus and you have your skills, right? Well, what's next after that? Well, you should be fixing your resume, you start applying for jobs, right? Me, realistically, I'm gonna tell you to apply to 30 to 40 jobs a week. That's just me. Uh, I will recommend you apply to MSP companies. There's, there's actually there's actually MSP companies in every state, so I apply to MSP companies. They're always hiring. I recommend applying to recruiting firms like Robert Half Technology, Mitchell Martin, Nelson Group, Nelson Group Inside Global. It really depends. The recruit recruiting firms is Kelly Services. There's K Force. There's like so many recruiting firms out there that you could you know apply to. Make sure the resume is tech related, and uh, go to conference events. There's like there's B Size New York coming up in October. There's B size Philadelphia or B size Philly. There's in December. There's B size Chicago, usually like it's in October, November. Um, there's B size Pittsburgh, which is, I believe, in July. So, like, I'm going to B size Tampa. So, like, it really, like, it, you, there's so many conference events you could go to, and maybe they're hiring. Bring a copy of your resume. You never know, right? And then obviously, fix your LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn profile is important. I have videos on this. I'm not going to go over this today. Um, for resume, like, I got one of the guys that, that got a job. Uh, got a job interview and got a bunch of jobs. He used AI to to fix his resume. And he actually manually tailored the rest of it, so it doesn't look like AI written it. But you could definitely use AI as your as an advantage to fix your resume. I will recommend you do that. So that definitely does help. All right. Last but not least, but the job interviews are going to be important because obviously, if you're interviewing, your interview and you're interview, and you're, you're, in, you're interviewing and your your interview skills suck, then they're going to hire you, right? So you have to do practice interviews. You gotta record yourself. Um, you could use AI to generate help desk questions and then have your have your loved one, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you're dating, whoever you're with, maybe your family member, your mom and dad, whoever it is, have them interview you, have them do a mock interview, you see how you answer the questions. So that way you're more comfortable when you actually go into a job interview. Other when you're going in there stressed out, nervous, you're sweating, like, oh damn, I wasn't I wasn't expecting that question. You got me there, you know, like <laughs> So you want to make sure you practice, right? Practice is very important when it comes to interviews. You you want to make sure you, you're well-rounded and you're ready to go, right? So I'm going to recommend you practice this stuff. This is very important. I, and I, don't want you to be, I don't want you to have anxiety when you're interviewing. So, And me, I, I do mock interviews with the candidates that I work with, with the students I work with, the people that, I, that, I, that you know work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I usually do mock interviews with them before... They do the actual job interview. That way they have less anxiety, they're less nervous, they're less stressed out. And I make sure that we do we do some research on the hiring manager or the job recruiter. We do research on everything that they have, especially the job description, because I'm gonna ask you questions based on that, because I know they're gonna ask you the same questions that are based on the job description. So I might as well ask you questions on Office 365 or Active Directory or Hard to Troubleshoot. Outlook, if it's not opening, or Excel, if an add-on add -on is missing, you know, I'm going to ask you questions on that because I see in the job description. So that's all, that's something to think about, all right? And this is the conclusion. So obviously getting a job in tech takes time. I literally had a guy that he he got a job in February, but you got to, the thing is you got to understand that it, it was a whole process. It wasn't like he, he applied and got a job immediately, right? It was a whole process. Like he literally got his A+, plus. he graduated college, Got his A plus. After he got his A plus, I gave him a like a like a roadmap of what skills he should learn. I go over this, 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 which he did. And then I'm like, all right, let's fix your resume now. And then we fix his resume. And um, once his resume was fixed, he literally got five job interviews in February, and uh, he he got the job that he wanted. So and he was able to negotiate his salary. So obviously, it takes time. And I'm going to tell you to write down any job interview questions they ask you, any feedback you get, all that stuff. You should write down whatever they give you, whatever feedback they give you, whatever questions they ask you. If it wasn't good or bad, you want to write all that down because sometimes what happens is you do an interview, you're going to get asked the same question by another company. It may be the same question. You don't know. So you want to make sure everything is written down, obviously, right? Landing a job, you know, like I said, like this guy, he followed the process. It's a whole process. It literally took him four months. So like you have to keep in mind that everyone's everyone's success is different. You know, not everyone's success is the same. So you gotta have a lot of patience when it comes to applying for jobs. You have to keep in mind that the job market is uh, the job market. People are still hiring a little wonky, but you can still get a job. 
so that you want to make sure you 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 take your time, you have patience, um, and that's it. And obviously, learn how to do research on the company, learn how to do research on the hiring manager, learn how to negotiate your salary. Obviously, if you have the skills, skills pay the bills, right? If you know what you're doing, they, they, there's, a, there's a job that's, that's paying 40 to 60K, whatever. I'm just going to give you an example, right? If you know what you're doing, you have the skills, why the hell are you going to ask for 40K, like the, low, the least amount, when you could ask for 45, 50K, or maybe more, right? It just doesn't make any sense, right? Your first job... But you have the skills. You know what you're doing. You, you you know what you're worth, and you 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 ask for what you're worth. If you know your shit, and I don't like to curse, but like if you know your stuff, there should be no reason why you should you shouldn't ask for a little bit more money. You should be able to negotiate your salary, right? And obviously, the last last but not least, the most important thing is you have to know how to market yourself. If they don't remember you, how are they gonna hire you? If they don't like you, they ain't gonna hire you either. They have to remember you, and they have to like you. And what makes you different from the other candidates? What if they ask you a question? Why do they ask you an IT question and you give them the same exact answer as a candidate before you, right? How are they going to remember you? So how are you different from the other people? Are you going to send a thank you email? What are you going to do? What makes you different? What makes you unique from the other person? At the end of the day, you have to make yourself stand out. And those those things are very important. Because you don't make yourself stand out, they're just going to go with the next candidate. You have to really... Uh, impress the hiring manager. And you also got to keep in mind, and I'll stop sharing, that's the last one. You also got to keep in mind that it's a two-way streak, right? You're interviewing them, and they're interviewing you. So you got to make sure that you 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 fill out with them, they fill out with you, and the company the company culture is there for you. If it's not there for you, like, you better off looking for another job. And there's, like, some red flags here or there, you better off looking for another job. If there's some green flags here and there, and you like the manager, like the team, there's opportunity to grow, go for it. So those things you want to keep in mind as well. So it's very those things are very important. So anyway, with that being said, this is the conclusion for me is, you know, getting a job takes time. Getting help this job, IT support is possible, is doable in 2025. You got to have the right mindset. You got to have the right skills. You got to have a great resume and you have to make yourself stand out. You have to have a great personality and uh, make sure they remember who you are because you cannot, you cannot let them think about somebody else when you're trying to apply for the same job, right? So just try to, make yourself a little bit unique. All right. With that being said, hopefully this helps you out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.